In the previous tutorials, we learned to create web server both as a station mode and access point mode using socket connection. And in the last video, we use a DHT sensor for displaying measurement readings in simple web server, similar to a weather station. While displaying sensor values, we discovered the necessity of constantly updating the displayed measurements. And we concluded that by updating the whole web page using the HTML meta refresh is not efficient. I decided to learn Ajax in order to update only the DHT sensor values displayed without refreshing the whole web page. So here it is. This circuit is exactly the same as in the previous tutorial. The DHT pin is connected to ESP32D23, while the DHT BCC and ground pin is connected to ESP32 3.3 volts pin and ground pin respectively. The source code is also ready here, written using MicroPython language. Let me run it first, then afterwards, we will briefly walk through the code. So let me click the run button. Give it some time. And let's wait until it gets its connection to my Wi-Fi router. Now it's connected to my Wi-Fi router. And it gives us this IP address. So let me open a web browser. Input that one. 192. That one six eight that zero that triple one. Hit enter. Let me minimize this one. Currently, the temperature here inside my room is twenty eight point three degrees Celsius, with a humidity of sixty point eight percent. The web page should be loaded with initially blank temperature and humidity readings. So let me refresh again that you can see this one is currently blank and after an interval of three seconds it will be updated i also set the onboard led to toggle every dht values update so i can have indicator that my system is working properly as you can see the onboard led is blinking every three seconds now let's try to dissect the source code First, we begin by configuring the LED pin and the DHT sensor. Then we configure the ESP32 Wi-Fi station and let it connect to my Wi-Fi router, this one. Then configure the socket connection, which is this one. Then created a web page function. For displaying the web page, it contains HTML code including the Ajax. We will go back to it later on. And lastly, we have the main loop. Here, we are only processing the socket client request. That is, when the request contains get DHT string, we first get a fresh DHT readings. For the temperature and the humidity and construct it as response to the client request as a recap the esp32 serves as a server and my desktop serves as a client i also added an led indicator to toggle every dht updates else it will send the default web page after that Send first the HTTP headers, then send the constructed response. And before looping again, is to make sure that the socket connection is closed. Now let's go back to the main web page function, which is this one. In the head section is a script tag which contains the Ajax code. This Ajax code makes the web page to updates only the values of temperature and humidity 
without refreshing or reloading the whole web page. And that's efficient, right? To give you some insight of what is Ajax, let's open the W3 School's Ajax introduction, which clearly discuss it. This is the Ajax introduction. Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Let's try the example by clicking the Try It Yourself. Let me run it. And let's click the Change Content button. And the content is replaced by this text or text string. What happens here is when Change Content button is clicked, the content of the div with ID named demo will be replaced with the content of the Ajax info that text. Of course, that all happens without reloading the whole web page, only the content of this div. Let's click it again and the whole part is replaced. We also need a way to make it update the content for a set interval. Introducing set interval method. Again, let's refer to the W3 school's set interval method. Let's try it by clicking the try it yourself and click the button try it. After 3 seconds, the hello message should be displayed. That's okay. 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 I will close it because it will open every three seconds. What happens here is when the set interval function is called, which is this one, it will execute the function in the first parameters, which is this one. Every set interval, in this case, every 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds. What I would do is copy this set interval function or method, copy, and I will paste it here. Okay? And instead of calling the alert, we will replace it. With the, with the function call of load doc. Copy this one and paste it here. Okay? So, when we run it, when we click the run button, we will not click the change content, but instead, the set interval will call the load document to load the, the ajax info.txt so let's run it without clicking the change content button okay so after three seconds the content of the div with id demo is replaced with the ajax content so let's go back to our source code which is this one this source code is almost the same with the Ajax example of W3 schools. I just modify it a little bit for functionality purposes. The only two differences are instead of asking for the Ajax info.txt, we are sending get DHT requests. Number two, the response from the server is parsed from array of temperature and humidity values which is this one, array 0 is replaced to the temp span or for the temperature while array 1 is for replacing the value of humidity in yumi span id, which are this one. Span id temp and the values will be replaced in this part Span ID Yumi for humidity will be replaced in this part. As of now, our web server is still running.
So, that's it. I hope you learned something. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you may write your inquiry in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up by clicking the like button and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe now. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details and references such as circuit diagram and source code. Thank you and have a good days ahead. See you in the next video. Bye!